Yeah, hi everyone. Good evening to all here. I was continuously coming, trying to come back, but anyhow, after all the hurdles, we are back now. I do let you know. Am I audible and visible to all? Am I audible and visible to all? Please do let me know. And today I have done something changes. One topic also I have added extra. Okay. I will tell you what is that topic is. Do let me know how is the energy and am I audible to all? How is the energy? Is voice is okay? Okay, Aditya. Yeah, I want response from everyone, from everyone. And today I have, I have also updated one new topic in our series that we'll cover on one point of time backtracking because uh, I was, you know, talking to many of my friends and they were mentioning like in their company, one was from Microsoft was thing like they asked questions from backtracking as well. So I thought we should have this, we should have this in this particular series. So I've added this as well. Okay. Yeah, any, anyway, in the recent days, I was not able to come live because I heard that this particular uh, series does not have a lot of trained. So that's why other important things were going on. So what I want is that I want like uh, enough people to join every day's live. If this will make a lot of sense, only then we'll be able to complete this. Okay. And my studio will be ready within two to three days. Then we will have better quality live as well. Okay. But I hope this is manageable today. Can we move ahead? Can we move ahead? Okay. So the problem we have today in our two pointer series, Arabic two pointer, the palindromic number. And this particular problem has been asked in Oracle, Microsoft, JP Morgan, Google, Facebook, Bloomberg, Apple, Amazon, Adobe. And you already know the thing that we'll write code in three languages, Java, CPP, and Python. Okay. And we'll understand the pseudocode for the other people as well. Oh, Prince Kumar back. Okay. Cool, yeah, cool. Yeah, anyway, anyway, when we will have a lot of people are asking, will be demanding for this particular thing, only then management will allow me to continue on this. Otherwise, what will happen that maybe I don't know, we'll be able to complete this or not. But if we'll see a high demand, trust me, this series will end completely with giving you the, you know, the strongest resource somebody ever had. We'll have something amazing, really cool. Okay. Cool, yeah, cool. So now, now what we'll do, we'll go to our, to our Chrome and we'll understand the problem statement and the solution as well. Okay. So now we are going to search our lead code first. Okay. Lead code, not lead code practice. I want lead code platform. So problem sets. Here we will search for a problem statement, which is palindromic number. I know many of you already know what is palindromic number, but here you can learn something like when you transition from one language to another, what are the changes you need to do? Okay, and what can be the approach? Anyway, we are learning for two pointer palindromic number. Uh, why is this searching this? Okay, palindromic number. We have solved this already. Something like, I don't know, maybe some other people we have done this but i i don't think so that he solved here okay cool yeah so now now what is the palindromic number actually you already know you already know like the palindromic number which is you know which is same from left and right okay when, when you are reading something similar that will be a palindromic number so you are reading palindromic number from left to right and right to left and now I want to tell you what is the two pointer approach right here. Resting is fine for me. Okay, resting is fine for me. So now, now palindromic number you understand when something is readable from both the end at the same, that will be a palindromic number. For example, 121. No matter you're reading from left or right, it will remain always palindromic. So what can be the logic? What can be the logic? You understood the problem statement. I believe everybody has understood this problem statement. It's not difficult to anyone. It's not difficult to anyone. I strongly believe in this. Okay, so now, now palindromy, you understood the problem statement, right? Which means that you read, read same 
from left and right yes or no right so if this is a case this is a case then that will be a palindromic number for example you have 121 this will be again if you read from left to right this will always become 121 you have another number let's say 111 this will always remain same to always to, uh, let's say you talk about 141 this always remains same thing 232 this will always remain same like so no matter how you read from left to right you will have always a same number so that is known as palindrome number what can be a logic what can be a logic uh, like a few people can say like sir, we can convert this particular thing to a string then we can reverse of course this can be a logic one thing right so convert in a string and then reverse it second thing can be like we will use a two pointer which is this series which is this series so what we will do with the help of two pointer uh, you know first thing you can also apply by converting this to a string and then apply two pointer that is also possible and uh, the other way is possible that uh, we will take two pointers and we will use a reversal method we will use a reversal method that is also a possible thing okay so what you will do you will reverse reverse number and try to compare with the original right and when this reverse number is equal to the original we can say that this is a palindrome number this is a palindrome number right so you can have multiple approaches you can have multiple approaches right we can have multiple approaches we can convert this to a string then we can use to pointer or else what we can do we can reverse this number and then we can directly compared to the you know reverse number and original number if both are same then that will be true in the palindrome number otherwise that will be false so now i hope till now uh sir palindrome will be only three digits no no that is not a case they can be multiple digits like one four four one so they have let's say here four digits okay they can have any number of digits but they cannot be negative negative is not possible if they are negative, they will never be a palindrome. Why? Because minus 121 is not same as 121. This. this is not same. Okay. So they can have any number of digits. They can have any number of digits. I hope cool. Yeah. This is this sounds clear to all. This sounds clear to all. So you can have multiple approach. The approach number one within the two pointer. You can have like you can convert to a string. Right. I can convert to a string then reverse then reverse using two pointer right two pointer right this can be one thing this can be one thing okay second approach approach number two approach number two that that the thing you remember like remainder concept remainder concept uh, that you can have that you can have so you can have multiple approaches there is a, no problem for choosing anyone okay choosing anyone either you choose this particular thing or you choose this you can have any approach so both are the better approaches both are the better approaches but any of you are consuming here an extra space but you don't have to this will be equal to number here you are using a string but that is really a very you know minor space will not impact not always have a constant and complex thing so you don't have to worry you don't have to worry okay cool yeah so now let's go to our lead code and here here we'll understand the second approach because string approach you already know that is not really tough for you you already know and i i hope that will never hamper anyone so now i'll take the another approach like the first condition is that if this x is less than zero which means this is negative this is what this is negative and if this is negative directly will return false return false that is that's what we have discussed so far right again for calculating the original number we will have one reverse we will have one reverse at initial we assume that reverse is zero and we will have one duplicate of x because x will be manipulated with time and we want an original number so not duplicate and write original org okay or original sounds good to me sounds good to me uh, okay sounds good to me now cool yeah so again what we can do is that how we were reversing a number you remember we have covered a reverse number concept so this is same as that nothing is different nothing is different so now what you will do is that first you will have a remainder first you will have a remainder reversing concept you know with the help of remainder you will have the access of last digit you will have the access of last digit and once you you know take all the last digit you add from starting that will become a complete number the reversal of a number right let's say i take a last digit last digit ld 
is equals to uh, x modulus 10 that will give you last number and again the reverse will be whatever the last number is will add in the reverse by doing what by reverse multiplying by multiplying by 10 because whenever you add a new digit the whole number will be multiplied by 10 then you will add a new digit okay so now new digit you will add in the last digit and again every time you need to update your x so it will be x divided by 10 every time because you are taking the last digit and that will be divided by 10 every time right and at the end at the end you will return at the end you will return return what when this particular uh, like this particular original number original number is equals to yeah, anyhow in TCS advanced coding question I passed four test cases but is the problem zero cases or uh, no worries maybe you haven't understood the problem statement clearly uh, Prince can you do one thing can you do one thing on LinkedIn drop me the type of question okay you had you had there if you if you remember that will be helpful for me maybe I can cover these in the upcoming video for helping other people okay so now original when this original is equals to reverse okay so that time we can say this is a palindrome this is a palindrome okay so now we'll try to run this here also we'll write this particular code in Java and my other thing uh, now original is the spelling is different okay that is original spelling was mistake okay so now i guess that has resolved cool yeah cool so we can submit it here but when you convert this in a particular like uh, anyway now some people will say how we are using a two pointer here uh, anyway whenever you are using two variables which flip the value that is a two pointer but direct, directly we are not using two pointer here we are just taking two pointer first is the remainder particular thing and the reverse and with the hello these two pointer we are doing the things anyhow we are using a two pointer concept but if if in other way where can I find simplification points? I'm time user. A team will reply you here. Uh, please, somebody who is monitoring, please reply this hour. Okay, so now we are able to submit. I guess this will submit this. Also, I'll tell you the another approach how you can do it. And that you know directly to point approach. The convert in a string and sub the value. That's it. Nothing more. And then convert again to an integer value and go ahead. So here I'll copy the same code because now we'll code in C. So I'll do one thing, I'll choose C here. Yep. Okay. So now in C, we'll paste this code. Okay, so what is the difference in C? Everything will remain the same, but I will tell you one challenge in C. Okay, I will tell you one challenge in C. Can any of the syntax C from lead code series help me to solve a T and QT advanced coding questions? On the oh, thank you, Prince. Thank you, Prince. Glad to hear this. Glad to hear. Okay, but anyhow, you have a chance, you have proper chance. But when you submit this C course, this particular code in C, and you are getting an integer overflow error. Because there is a different way to handle integers overflow in, in C than Java. Okay, so what you have to do actually, there is a difference in the bits. So that is a language difference, as you can understand. But for this purpose, you can do one thing: you can convert your reverse to a long and this problem will be solved. In C, you will convert this particular reverse variable to long to hold larger value, and this particular problem will be solved. Okay, so submit this. Now you'll be able to submit in C as well. It is similar as Java, nothing. Look at this. We are meeting 100%. Okay, it's it's working fine. It's working fine. But now how we can write this particular code in Python? So I'll choose now Python. We'll go here and we'll paste this. So just you need to remember the syntax is nothing more. So you know how you write the condition in in Python. You just write you don't use the braces you don't need this semicolon and all and the false this this particular thing will be capital okay and here you don't need this particular variable okay and indentation should be same you just don't need the type of data and you don't need these braces right and the rest thing is same the rest thing is same but anyhow actually uh, you, you cannot directly uh, divide this here you will never have an integer value you have to use this double division okay and resting is same resting is same. whatever different i'm telling you right here and now you can return it i hope this works fine we have converted the whole code in python as well in python as well oh no do not match indentation who do not match the indentation 
uh, probably this thing. Okay. Uh, the problem is that this if has one extra space. So I was I guess now this is fixed. Now this is fixed. Invalid syntax. Okay, somewhere I've used int. Uh, now, I guess now everything is true according to Python because we were. Uh, so which version of Python compiler used in TCS and QT? Uh, probably Python 3R, yeah. but any version you can use. You don't have to worry about. Python will work there. Okay, Python will work there. So now we're beating. It's just maybe my computer vision is somewhere. That's why it's showing you 10 milliseconds, but don't worry. Like, look at this. Now it's showing 4 milliseconds. But this is a completely optimized code. You don't have to worry about. You don't have to worry about. Okay. The another approach I want from everyone that you should convert this particular string, this particular number to a string, then use two pointer to swap the value. You remember the concept of swapping? You remember the concept of swapping? Convert this particular number to a string and swap the value. Use complete two pointer approach and try to solve this. I'll be waiting in the comments. I'll be waiting in the comments that how many people are solving that. Okay, that is a homework to you guys. That is a homework that will improve anyhow your the understanding of two pointer. You can try the similar question also. Similar question also like count symmetric integers. Okay, a strict palindromic number. So these things can be very helpful for you. Okay, then I guess this particular problem. Tell me, is this particular problem and solution clear to all? And anyhow, you know this. This how how important this problem is because this already has been asked. And Oracle, Microsoft, JP Morgan, Google, Facebook, Bloomberg, Apple, Amazon, Adobe. So we're targeting a really big package. All built-in functions of Python working. Correct. All built-in functions will work, yes, sir. All built-in functions. But do not use external functions. Do not use external function, external library. Okay. So you know the importance of this particular question, right? This has been asked in these multiple companies. And again, I'm reminding you that we have added one another new topic back. Because I was having a discussion with my friend who was working in, uh, who was working in Microsoft. So he was mentioning like in his company, there are a lot of questions that are asking from the backtracking. So I thought we should also have this topic in our series. Okay, but anyhow, I'll be able to finish this series when I'll see a lot of support from you and because management only support me on that case. When this particular series have a higher demand. So remember to like the particular video if you really enjoy it. If you really enjoy the series, drop the comment uh, for the different code by like converting into a string and using two pointer. Okay. And again, try to share this particular live with your friends as well because that will help us to increase the number. Right? And when the number will be increased, management will allow me to spend the time here. Okay. Bye bye to all. Bye bye to all. Let's see you in the next live. Anyhow, my setup is being ready and very soon we'll come in the higher quality. Okay, bye bye to all, bye to all, have a good day ahead.